Hey, what's going on, guys? Took me a little bit to, to review Moran, but we're going to be reviewing her today. And let's look at her kit. So, she's an assault rifle user, she's a defender. So, keep that in mind what we're, we're going to be looking at in this kit here. Um, her first skill sounds decent. It's over 300% at max level, looks like, like or not not exactly, like, it's like over 300% defense pretty much, but it really doesn't mean anything, because in this game, defense is, it just doesn't seem to matter that much, unless you're unequal with the enemy or over it, because if you're in the red, when it comes to fighting something, uh, you're their attack is going to be much higher than your defense, most likely, in almost every case. So, getting more defense doesn't really seem to do anything. And then her skill, the last part of the skill is decent. So far, not so good though. <laughs> and then, when you final the fi final bullet affects the enemy units with the highest attack, you taunt, <coughs> you taunt them. So not everybody, but three enemies at least, so in arena, that would be pretty decent. And when your HP falls below 20%, effect changes according to number of activation times. Let's look at what we've got here. So you get more at max HP. Only once per battle, that's pretty necessary to understand that. So for arena, this would be pretty decent as well. And then for the final part, you change your weapon. You deal damage and you recover from HP. You taunt everybody, which is good. You can't take cover well in... I don't think you can. I'm pretty sure you can't take cover in arena anyways. So, it doesn't matter. And then you take less damage, but this last part doesn't really mean anything. The defense increase. If this were a proper game, where a lot of mechanics actually meant for something like crit and defense buffs and all that stuff. This would be probably be pretty decent because if you combine that with... Because uh, it doesn't say like original defense or anything like that. So if your first skill tied with the last skill and it actually meant something, then she'd be a really good character. Unfortunately, she's good for pretty much only one game mode. And that is a PvP or Arena. Because I don't see how you'd ever want to use her in anything else. Unless you're a new player and you pulled her and you don't have anyone else. I think that's the only thing you would ever use her for, honestly. And, uh, so, yeah. She's good as a defender. She's going to be very helpful with, uh, Biscuit, perhaps? I think I saw some videos on that. And, like, maybe like a side graded noise. Like, if you compare her to Noise, they're almost the same, but I think Noise is better. Just because... I just feel, I feel like, you know, I feel like just Noise is a little bit better. Especially since she's, you know, been out for a while, you probably have more uh, stars on her compared to if you pull from Moran, where you don't have anything yet. So... I feel like, unless you like Moran, which I know a lot of people do, not really what we're here for. If you like the character you're going to pull anyways, that's not what you're here for. You're here to see if she's good or not. Because if you liked her already, you're, you're not going to watch this video. You're, you're, you've already done your pulls. So this is for someone who like me who would always look around and see, oh, is this character good enough? Well, uh, I think for pretty much every other aspect besides PvP, she's okay. But being okay is not worth it. Considering this should be like a blow-off banner for you. If you pull a lot for Scarlet, this should seriously be a pull. Especially if you pulled during Christmas time. And then you pulled for the New Year unit. On top of that, this should seriously be a blow-off banner for you. This should still be, still be like... And this happens with a lot of other kind of mobile or gacha games. There's usually a blow-off period after a big celebration or, or banner. So this should be this should be yours. This should be your pull uh you know blow off banner where you don't pull and the you know leona kind of was that too but this should also be this should be like part two of the blow off banner where you don't pull that's my that's my advice i think you can live without her if you seriously care about pvp then you're a whale anyways 
and you're going to pull. So, that's my opinion, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Am I on the money? Am I not on the money? I think she's going to get like a 6 out of 10. And she's not getting a lower score because of the PvP aspect just kind of holding her up. Because it does... The, the secondary arena actually does mean a lot because it does give you a lot of gems. Even if you're like in a bad position at this point, even if you're like Challenger 9, you're still getting quite a bit of gems per, per that period. So it does, in the long run, if you're able to hold that spot like I am, I, I'm a, uh, the reason why I'm mentioning Chal Challenger 9 because that's where I'm stuck right now. Uh, despite my level and everything, I can't seem to get much higher right now, even with all my experience. And everything. I missed the old, the old one where I was just, you know, Challenger one over and over again because there weren't very many people playing. I guess that's why they changed. It feels bad, man. All right, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. See you in the next video. Peace.